que quer. E ainda é a... Where are you rushing to at this time of the day? Ah, um, I am rushing to a keuzuku to get some feet for my chickens. <laughs> you, what? Okay. What is it? Uh, wait, there is something I want to ask you. What is your take on the issue of this land sharing matter? Land sharing? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. The one Unjideka has been talking about. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, Bemena, I have nothing to say. But I believe the king and the elders in council, the way they are going about it is the best way. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but are you of the opinion that the land should be shared amongst the men and the women of this kingdom? <laughs> Bemena. That is arrant nonsense. Okay. I call it madness. I said it. Madness. I told her. Listen, Bemena. Hmm? Women don't talk about land sharing. Women don't talk about land sharing. Forget about the madness uh, Njideka has been gallivanting around the kingdom, exhibiting nonsense. Okay. Women don't talk about land. You see? So, in a nutshell, you are directly telling me that you are of the opinion that the land should be shared amongst the men alone in this kingdom. Bam! Exactly. That is my opinion. Inaya. Women. You are my friend. This Semi Jideka has played a major role in bringing peace between both kingdoms. She has even done so much that all the men put together in this kingdom cannot even achieve. And so? Mm -hmm. And so? Oh, Bemena. So, because of that, we should now share the land equal with ordinary women. Ordinary women. Bemena, that is not going to happen. That can never happen. Happen. Listen, Bemina. Hmm? Let me quickly rush to Ekeuzuku to get what I want. As you can see, it is getting dark. When I come back, we will discuss more about this. No, you, you, you can't leave now. There's one other thing I have to tell you. Do you know I told Injideka? I told her, I said, Injideka, you are chasing shadows. Of course. Everybody knows that. It cannot be possible. Anyway, Bemina, hmm? we will talk about this later. Okay. Let me rush. I'll see you. Nonsense. How can a woman be talking about land sharing? How can women be sharing land with all men in this kingdom? It is not done anywhere. It is a taboo. Uh -huh. Ninjideka, what is this we hear about you insisting that the land should be shared equally to both men and women of Ubodoko Kingdom? Is it right? Dorothy. That land must be shared equally, just the way I want it. Yes, Says who? Says me. Who do you think you are? You are just a woman, and I want you to get that into your thick skull and stop rubbing shoulders with a man. I mean, come on. Dorothy, you are seated on my couch in my living room. But you're free to say whatever nonsense you wish with your mouth. It's yours after all. Let me ask you. Where were all the men of Obodoku Kingdom? Where were they when I personally saw that the case was settled out of court? Mm -hmm. I knew what I went through to get that done. And you're seated here asking me stupid questions. Angelica, you are indeed a superwoman. <laughs> oh, please. There is no big deal in what she did anyways. So quit these praises. Oh. Dorothy, what is it again? What is your problem? Eh? <laughs> you talk as if you can do half. Half of what she had done to the two, two, two kingdoms. What is it? <laughs> Come on, what is wrong with you girls? What is this all about? Njireka this, Njireka that. Hey, babe. What's up with you anyway? <laughs> what is it about you that... I mean, is there something we're missing that one cannot really stay a moment without hearing this name, Ujideka? 
I can see someone is jealous. Excuse me. Evelyn, like seriously, you think I'm jealous of who? Njideka. And hey. why should I? Would you want to read you? Dorothy baby. Be jealous of <laughs> Ujideka. I mean, are you more beautiful than I am? <laughs> Listen, girls. All I'm trying to say is, we are mere women. And we should be under the man. Because that is how he's meant to be. Dorothy, <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm listening. We are here. To congratulate Njideka. And not all this. Njideka, my darling sister. I am so, so proud of you. Aww. And I'm very happy and solidly behind you. In this is your fight to ensure that the land be shared equally to both men and women of our kingdom. Thank you. You're welcome, my darling sister. Honestly, I can never be part of this madness of yours. Dorothy, mm. can you leave Injideka alone and allow her to face a noble cause? Injideka, you have my full support, my sister. <laughs> Solidly behind you, anytime, any day. My sister, you have my support 100%. Thank you so much, my sisters. You're welcome. You see, when we fight together, we win together. No longer shall a woman be relegated to the backyard in our society. <laughs> Dreamers! Keep dreaming. Dream on! Dirty, are you actually leaving? Uh uh. No. I'm actually staying here to listen to your rubbish you're blabbing about. Excuse me, I'm out of here. Do not break my <laughs> furniture on your way out because you're way too large. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> my sister, congratulations. Hi. Oh, my dear. What my is ability. Oh yeah. My elders, I'm surprised. Why would the noble men of Obodoko Kingdom hearken to the voice of an ordinary maiden? <laughs> I mean, the Njideka we all know is nothing but a cheat. Oh yes, I live in the same city with her. And she's not what she portrays herself to be. Tell them! Everybody in the city knows Njideka to be into runs. Oh, runs? Oh yes! <laughs> what do you mean by runs? Njideka is into men. She Will do you men. shut up your mouth before I shut it for you? Look at her. I can see that jealousy runs in your family blood. Uh, I take exception to that. Mpwacha? What do you... In fact, see you go neighbor. What's wrong with you? Why don't you allow the girl to tell us what she has come here to tell you? shut up. How could you sit here and watch your daughter say that my, my daughter sleeps with men to make money? Who told you she's lying? You want to hear her? Speak. I'm not a liar. Your daughter Njideka specifically confided in me that she slept with the king and the prince of Isiguzo kingdom. So... <laughs> I mean, Njideka, one thing the whole kingdom to do all she's asking of will be her greatest undoing. Young lady, you are a pathological liar. Igwe, I cannot sit here and watch this idiot spew bunkum. I cannot take this hook, line and sinker. I think I have to call my daughter and put the call on voice out. For this Dorothy here to prove to, to, to me that what she is saying is truth. Go her! In fact, that's exactly the best thing to do. Huh? Imagine her coming to the palace to paint Injideka black. Go yeah. ahead and make the call.
Yes, the phone is ringing. Good afternoon, Papa. What is good about this afternoon? Is everything okay? What's the problem? Njideka, how could you sleep with King Gumirwa and his son to let them accept? Papa, who told you I slept with the king and the crown prince? Who said that about me? Papa, are you trying to say you don't know your daughter? You don't know what I can do and cannot do? Ah, now I understand why you vehemently refused to marry Ernest. Papa, that is not it. That is not the case. Papa, who said I slept with the prince? Who said I slept with the king? A confidant who you confided in. Close confidant? Where? How? Hello. Hey, okay. Um, you. Hey. Get the phone. Speak to her now. You mischief your story. Papa, are you there? Yes, I'm here, my daughter. I Your Majesty! Hey, hey, hey. Your I Majesty! Hate. She's trying to run away after rubbishing in Jideka's name. My elders, I'm not running away. Yes. I, I, I only want to take my cup, my king. Make one move from where you are and you will see the other side of me. My king, my king, please. Hey. I want to pick one. Keep quiet. It will, it... Okay. Sir? What's going on? Who even said this about me in the first place? yesterday. Please calm down. I'll tell you how it all happened. Do you know it was Dorothy that came to the palace and said you are a rose girl? Me? Yes. Rose girl? She said that before the Igwe and the others in Kaiso that you slept with Igwe Morue and the son to achieve your feet. And everyone in the kingdom was singing a panegyric song as if you won a trophy. Papa, you mean Dorothy came all the way from the city just to lie against me? Yes, and when I dialed your number, she was uneasy. She wanted to run away from the king's court. Are you saying she was there? Right when you were calling me? Yes, even the king and her father were there. She wanted to run away and the king asked her to come back, which she did, and she buried her face in ignominy. Papa, you see why I keep complaining about Dorothy's jealousy towards me? She doesn't even know how to hide it anymore. I thank the gods that she came to the palace to disgrace both herself and her father, the Onohu, yesterday. Dorothy. Do you know what? The king insisted that she should pay a fine of one he got and a hundred thousand naira for coming to the palace to lie against you. Hey, listen. For coming before the king with such prepared lies, to destroy a maiden of your land. You are here find one good. And 100,000 Naira that you must have to present before the close of business today for us to appease the land that you have desecrated with your life. Don't say anything to me. Because you prepared this. Yes. There is no way you are going to convince me that you were not part of this. Mm. Oh, Nara. Uh. Henceforth, 
you are no longer the Ono Wu of this kingdom. Ah! Ah! Igwe! Please, my king! Pardon my father and I, please. This is punishment for the abomination that you have committed. Hyejina. Henceforth, Mkwosha, who has distinguished himself both in character and in high level of integrity, is now the Onowu of Opoluku Kingdom. No Mejai! What I have just said here now is a statement made by the king and it stands irrevocable. In today, come my daughter, that was what happened. Papa, I am still surprised. You mean he lost his position to you? Oh, yes. Wonders shall never end. And the same Gallo, he and his daughter prepared for us, was the same that destroyed them. Evil is evil. It doesn't pay. Never. Never. Chejina and his daughter left the palace an ignominious defeat. They wished the ground should open and swallow them. So you mean you're the new know of our kingdom? Yes. <laughs> Life and direct. <laughs> <laughs> Father, this is a very good news. Yes, do you know that people that heard about the news, they have been paying homage to me. <laughs> They knew no. Look at that now. <laughs> eh? Eh? Have you informed your children about your new position? Um, no, I have not. What are you waiting for? Listen, I want to make sure it's not a dream. Papa, this is not a dream. Wake up and let your reality hit you in your face. You ah. are the Ono for real and not in dreams. I know. Anyway, I, 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 I heard that... Um, the king asked after you. Yes, he called me on the phone and asked me to see him. Are you going at once? Immediately. So what am I doing here? Let's go together. Okay, father. That's okay. okay. <laughs> okay. I personally invited you here for me to tell you how sorry I am for not believing in you. That's okay, Igwe. Thank you. And uh, without wasting time, I need to tell you what we have approved in council. That land is going to be shared between the males and females of a Boluku kingdom who are of age. That's some good news. Um, yes, Njideka, we actually decided yesterday at a council meeting to oblige your request. But I did not want to let the cat out of the bag. I wanted it to come from the horse's mouth. Thank you, my king. Thank you very much. You don't know what you have done for us. And I need to tell you that there is something I have decided as king, something we did not discuss in council. I am doing this using my veto as the king of Ubudubu Kingdom. That land is going to be named after you. You are surprised? That is just the truth. Henceforth, it will be named Njide Kampocha Estate. Oh my goodness. This, this is good news. Thank you, my king. Thank you for honoring me in my lifetime. This means a lot to me. Thank you. Ngideka, you may not understand what you did for us, but your father, Uno Wunkwacha, he has set an example in this kingdom. Yes. <laughs> I learned many things from Onowu and Kwasha's family. He set a standard 
to himself. In involving, in fact, investing in his female children. Now, he is reaping the fruit of his labor mm. in his old age. Engineer, mm. I need to let you know that we are very proud of you. Yes. What you have achieved is, is, is something that is so, so, so remarkable. And because of your achievement, that's saying that uh, the place of the woman is in the kitchen should be abolished. Thank you, my king. Thank you very much. This means a lot to me. 